We actually met at Sundance at the festival five or six years ago, um, and Ben saw a cut of my first film um, and approached me about making this film with him. We first were made aware in 2009 that a lawsuit was going to be filed, and so we approached the organization that was starting the lawsuit and asked them if we could start filming uh, some of the behind the scenes. The case became a lot bigger than we ever imagined that it could be, so uh, after five years it finally reached the Supreme Court and we had been there the entire time. Hi, my name is Ryan White. And my name is Ben Kotner and we're the directors of The Case Against Eight which is in the U.S. Documentary Competition at the Sundance Film Festival 2014. The Case Against Aid is a movie about the unlikely team of people that took same-sex marriage to the Supreme Court, and it begins with the passage of Proposition 8 in 2008. It really was a unique case that we were following. The Perry case, as it became known, was four plaintiffs who filed a federal challenge to the state constitutional ban on same-sex marriage. And the lawyers that they brought together to lead this charge, it really was an unlikely pair of a famous conservative lawyer and a famous liberal lawyer. And the unlikely pairing brought a lot of attention to the case. I think Ben and I were very conscious, we've talked about this since day one of making this film, that we were not trying to make a film about whether gay marriage was right or wrong, that it really was a character film following this team of people and really delving into their lives and using that journey to let people decide in the end. I think the fact that this case did last five years uh, sort of allowed us to document a period of time in which public opinion was shifting so dramatically. And to be able to tell that story through these characters was an additional opportunity that came along with it. As a filmmaker, you can't hope for a better climax than a Supreme Court hearing. And so we were kind of always hoping. We knew that if it went to the Supreme Court, that you know, that would be not only a huge climax, but that it could end with the marriage of our, of our four main characters. And, I don't want to ruin the movie for you guys, but I think most people know what happened to Proposition 8, and so I think that's when we really knew that we had something special.